What is up, YouTube? No Limit Baby here, or if you want to call me by my real name, it's Tyler, and you can do that. And we're back with another video, and in this one, it is episode seven, and we are one and four on the season right now, and we're going up against the Houston Texans, who are also one and four. Now, the Raider is at the bottom of the AFC West division, and honestly, if we lose this game, Feel like our chances are gonna be over like if we lose any more of the games on this regular season i don't know how we make the playoffs we just have too many good teams in our division too many good teams in the league in general so the raiders have started off super disappointing man take a quick look at these trade offers for anthony avery but i'm probably just gonna trade him away myself Ooh. This, this trade low-key is kind of good. No. I'm not liking this trade. Maybe this one. We're going to try to get our own value out of them. Maybe we make a trade offer or we accept that, but not right now. Right here in week seven, before the trade line, before the trade deadline, I am going to make a couple of trades, and our first trade that we are going to make is sending Cleland Farrell the missile. Sadly, I kind of wanted to keep him, but we just, he just doesn't get anything. He's not getting any, like, reps for us right now, so we need to get rid of him. And we're getting George Fant, a 30-year-old right tackle, but he can be a bridge player for us. They already have a younger right tackle that's a 78 overall. So this is like a perfect trade for the jet for the Jets. And they're also giving us a seventh round pick. So who knows, man? Maybe we get a star out of that seventh round pick. But I think this was a decent trade for us, man, because we need instant improvement at right tackle, and this will get it for us. So here we go. Trading Anthony Averett to the Saints for a fourth round pick. And <clears throat> I just, we don't have a lot of space for Anthony Everett. We have a lot of other corners that kind of can get it done right now. So, I mean, I don't know. Fourth round pick, not too much value. I feel like I kind of want it a little bit more. But, hey, buy an Anthony Averett. Here we go, man. Alex Leatherwood moving him back over to starting right guard. And our new right tackle, George Fant, hopefully can keep us good for now. The line is looking a little bit better. All we need to do really is upgrade Andre James. I think Leatherwood can develop for our franchise, bro. Um, I know in real life he got cut, but in this game, and this playthrough, I think Alex Leatherwood has a lot of potential. So the line is looking good for now, in my opinion. Let's get right into the weekly strategy here. We're going to be going up against Davis Mills. I feel like Mans was slept on. He actually played pretty well his rookie season. They got Kareem Hunt at running back. It's kind of crazy. He's not doing too crazy on the season. Only three touchdowns. We'll defend the short pass. It looks like he's throwing it a lot to the short. So here we go. For our offensive run game plan, looks like their defense hasn't given any touchdowns. Derek Stingley Jr., the rookie cornerback. I forgot he is going to be starting and playing out here for the Texans. So that's pretty dope. We'll get to see him. I think we're going to I think we're going to stick to the game plan. We'll let it decide for us. We'll run outside. For people we want to develop, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to change this to to Leatherwood. Because I obviously want him to develop before Dylan Parham. Sorry, Dylan. I don't know if he's going to have a spot on this franchise. But this is what we're going to do for now. If you guys want me to switch that, let me know. I will. But as of now, I think Leatherwood is our best bet. Nobody injured on the offense during practice. Let's say the same for defense, hopefully. We did have quite a few injuries last week. But none this week. Let's go. Let's see a couple of upgrades. And then we'll take a look at the Texans roster. Upgrade Alex Leatherwood here. I'm going to keep doing his pass block and his run block. Decent upgrades. 
But he is only 23 years old, man. We're going to upgrade Trayvon Mullins. We're probably not going to trade Trayvon. I don't know, man. He's just... He's so young. And he's such a good franchise player, man. But the CPU upgrade them. Now we are going to take a look at the Texans roster. Brandon Cook still out here leading the Texans roster in highest overall. Tied with Laramie Tunsil. Larry Tunsil would kind of be a good trade. That's a good person to trade for low-key. Now if somebody suggested it. <laughs> but anyways, they got Laramie Tunsil, Kareem Hunt, Jerry Hughes, Andy Hon Jonovich, Jonathan Greenyard, Greenard, Grenard, I think actually. Uh, right in Kevin King Skinniest cornerback I've ever seen Derek Stingley. I'm interested to see what he's doing day one of the starter Christian Kirksey tackling machine Marlon Mack uh, Man they have some good players on this on this team man Oh Foster Moreau he is here as well. I forgot we traded him away Okay, okay. All right, man. Let's get right into this. Week 7 against the Houston Texans. We are at home again. So we will have the crowd on our side. But, man, this is a must-win game for us. If we let the 1-4 Texans beat us, man, I know it's been a rough start. But I feel like the Raiders can flip it out. And we can go on a streak, man. But it starts here. And uh, let's go. Let's get it, baby. Let's go, guys. Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. We're going to kick the ball off against the Houston Texans, man. Let's get this game going. I'm ready. Let's kick this off. This is a huge game for us, man. Both of us down 1-4. Davis Mills on the season 1400 yards 10 touchdowns and three interceptions Man's is actually having a decent game a decent season. Those are low-key Patrick Mahomes numbers on the season So we have to watch out. All right, man. This is a must-win game and defense needs to stand up tall in this one No more BS Cannot get ran over against the Houston Texans. We are a better team than this. And Kareem Hunt getting 26 yards on his first carry of the possession. That's just too much space, man. We need guys to get in there. There's a blocking in the back on Trayvon Mullins. All right, man. I'm going to bring some pressure with Sue. Try to stop the run. Oh, no. I'm coming in with... Oh, I'm not doing nothing. Somebody grab him. Good tackle. Who is that? Bile Nicholas. Nicholas out here getting a good tackle. Only giving up three yards on the play. Come on, defense. We got to keep. We got to make a couple more stops. Come on. Oh, huge sacks. Max Crosby coming in and laying a big hit stick on him. I think that was a shared sack between Chandler Jones, too. Nowhere to go exactly like he said it and boom yup Chandler Jones actually got to him first But Max Crosby lays a big hit on Davis Mills Okay, man, I'm actually scared. I'm gonna bring Chandler Jones We're gonna watch this zone right here Come on Nobody nobody why is Trayvon Mullins not intercepting the ball this man could have like two interceptions on the season I feel like if he would just intercept it. But anyways. 
Fourth and 17, Houston Texans have no choice but to punt this off here. Um, we actually get this to the 23-yard line. Not a bad punt return. And here we get to see Derek Carr coming out for the first time of the game. 1,000 yards on the season, 7 touchdowns and 15 interceptions is not good. That's not what we want from our starting quarterback. But Derek Carr has some opportunity left. He needs to come out here and show out. This is a must-win game in the season. Derek Carr needs to be on his best in this game. Good run by Josh Jacobs. Gets a 7. We're going to come out here running some drag routes right off the bat. I don't want to get caught up. Here we go, though. Tyron Johnson catches it in stride. Oh, trying to get to the outside, but not able to. Getting tackled by Derek Stingley Jr., the rookie corner. 22 yards on the catch. Let's go, man. All right, man. We need to keep the momentum going here. No turnovers by Josh Jacobs on his shoot. And Josh Jacobs fighting. Josh Jacobs had to fight just to keep us from going negative on that play. Huge run by Josh Jacobs. And man, uh, our center is not getting any blocks on the play. Man, nobody was blocking on that play. But look at how wide the safeties are from each other. I think I'm throwing this to Hunter Renfro. Nope. And not a good play. Just dumping it off. Fourth down and six. Probably going to have to punt this off. I kind of want to try to kick this 61-yard field goal. This might be the stupidest shit ever, but I'm going to go for it. And we're not going to make it. And that was so dumb. I think if the accuracy was good, we maybe could have made it. It was the Texans' excellent field goal. Um, excellent spotting on the field. Can't think of what I want to say here, but come on, rock your sin. Not getting beat on the play. Let's go. Brian Pringle trying to get a step on that play. And it just did not work. Come on, man. Third down and three. If we can hold them here. Interception by Denzel Perryman. Come on. Oh, man, Davis Mills just asleep on the play. He doesn't even notice Perryman right there. And just throws a rubber ducky pass. Let's see that on the replay. I got to see what happens there. Just out of Foster Moreau, former Raider, just doesn't even really try to go for it. That was bad communication, bad passing, bad catching. That was all around bad. Raiders get saved on the play. That's what we need. Huge turnover. And here comes Derek Carr taking the field again. See what we can do this time around. Here we are running some drag routes. Come on, Devontae. He's just going to go down and get that one. That's a good first down. That was almost a late hit on the play. All right, man. Going to hand this off to Josh Jacobs. Not going to do anything crazy here. And, of course, we should have went inside, but, yeah, that was disappointing. We should have went to the left a little bit more there, but I don't know. Good run by Jacobs. Good catch. Good run. Drops his shoulders. He's not going to go down easy. They will fill those runs after time, but here we go. We're just going to hand this ball off. Try to get to the outside. Um... Try to at least stay in full goal range here. And we get it. Easy first down. Can't really get much else. Andre James. Not really blocking anybody for us. Camel Grieger Hill, I think it is. Coming in and making the tackle on us. It actually looks like Jerry Hughes was the one that made the tackle on us. I think the low key ran over. Um, Grieger Hill, but... Anyways, I'm looking for Josh Jacobs here. Josh J uh, Tyron Johnson always fighting 
for the first down. I love it, man. I'm not liking this play. I was going to run an RPO. Actually, who knows? I, I, I am going to run this. I think I might throw this to Devontae, though. And that was absolutely stupid. I threw it way too early. Just, ah, oh, man. Kevin King picks us off. But I knew that shit was going to happen because I saw it. But I just... I committed to that throw, and I saw it happening. I saw that the fucking corner was off press. I knew that the fucking ball was going to be placed in that situation, but good blitz. Denzel Perryman gets a sack, and that's a loss of 11 yards on Davis Mills, and that's huge, bro. Defense coming out here and bailing us out, or trying to at least. All right, man. Defense just got to stand strong here. Let's go, defense. Only getting three yards on that play. Defense is playing lights out right now, man. So, third down and 18. We're not going to do anything cr crazy. We're just going to try to play coverage here. See what we can do. And they're not going to get much. They're going to punt this back off. So, defense holding strong once again. And the Raiders are going to get another chance at this in the first quarter still. Jonathan Abrams almost getting there. We're going to get this ball with good good uh, cover, uh, sp good spotting on the field, man. If we could have just got in there. Anyways, though, Darius Phyllis getting us to the 50-yard line. Here comes Derek Carr. After throwing an interception last drive, man, not good. Of course, not able to get much on that one. First quarter is over. I think we're going to run some play action here. I feel like play action makes sense here. Because we've been running it a lot. So here we go. And we throw another interception. Not good. Derek Carr throws another bad pass on the run. Man, I tried to just honestly get rid of it, not thinking I was going to be able to get that pass off, but we did. Good tackle by Jalen Brown. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Kareem Hunt can't go nowhere. All right, man, let's get this shit, man. Defense is standing tall. Fucking love to see it, but come on. Who is that? Ndamukong Sue, the free agent, finally getting his first sack on the year, like five games in. Finally getting some use out of Ndamukong Sue. That's why we signed him. Third down and five, bro. Third down and 25, I mean, no way defense does not come off the field here and they're not going to get anything off they're going to lose a yard on that throw actually and the defense for the raiders is playing lights out here we go raiders getting the ball back and both of these teams have been struggling on offense come on darius phillips let's see what you can do on this play he's not going to get much just going to go forward for a couple all right man just gonna hand this ball off to Josh Jacobs. See what we can do on the ground. And why is our guy like, like I don't know what the line is doing there, bro. Like he makes that block, we're gone, bro. If he makes this block, who the who is this? Noro, the guy we traded from. I can't think of his first name right now. How is this? Like what? Madden? Come on, bro. If this is a block, if this is a block. Josh Jacobs is gone. Like, who? Who? If this is a block, but why? I don't know. I don't know. Don't, doesn't make sense. Madden logic is fucking stupid. But anyways, here we go. Second down and 11. <laughs> We're going to throw the RPO for four yards. I don't know if that was a smarter choice, but I was committed to it. I wanted to do it. 
Anyways, though, here we go, man. I'm looking for Tyron Johnson or Hunter Renfro on this play. And no, we dime Darren Waller up, man. Just throw it right in his bread basket. And he's going to hit a backflip on us. 28-yard pass, bro. He got he ended up alone. The safety wasn't there to react. Derek Stingley left um Derek Stingley left him alone and that's just a beautiful pass by Derek Carr. Clutch third down, man. We need to at least get a field goal out of this. We cannot keep taking these little chump interceptions and not getting any points. Defense is getting tired and they're playing lights out right now, so we can't let them stop. Oh, we try to cut that in between. But anyways, good carry for eight yards. Alright. Oh, uh, we can't flip the play like that. That's crazy. This is looking like a man coverage. Oh, and Josh Jacobs just lower, lowering his shoulders and taking a big hit, but getting us the first down. Man, they're pressing Devontae Adams. I think I'm going to streak him here. But I'm looking for 100 round for Josh Jacobs. And they throw it right over the head of Kevin King, man. I bit my tongue on that one. I thought he was going to pick it off. That was such a low throw by Derek Carr. I don't know how Derek's, uh, how Kevin King doesn't pick that. But good catch. Devonta Adams toasted Kevin King. Oh, and we're going to look to pass this, but it's not looking like a good passing route. I'm just going to hand this off. It is an RPO, though. If we want to, we can throw this to Vontae. I doubt it, though. Josh Jacobs trying to lower his shoulder, but only getting two on the play. Okay, now they're sacking the line, so we're going to swap this. We're going to switch this to an RPO, too. Don't know. I might throw this to Devontae. It depends if the linebackers start blitzing me. And they don't, so Devontae easily beating his man, and that's a touchdown by the Raiders, man. Raiders finally getting on the board. Good catch by Devontae. Good throw by Derrick. That's a huge, huge touchdown by the Raiders because our defense has been playing so good. I feel like this might be a game where it's hard to get points. So a long drive like that and getting seven is crucial for us. Able to give us some breathing room. Let's go, man. See if they take this one out of the end zone. And they do not. Okay, man. Here comes Davis Mills. Thinking they're running this. They're coming out in a heavy set. So we're going to come out in our own heavy set defense. And no. They can't go nowhere. Who was that? Okay, I made some changes to the defense. I don't know why my depth chart is constantly, like, changing. But here we go. And Froster Moreau, just going to go down with it. That's a good gain, though. That was definitely a decent gain on that play. But, uh, here we go. Oh, no, we're beat. And that sucks. Come on. Mans is getting swarmed by four Raiders. Yeah, that was a good catch, not going to lie. He totally beat me on that play. I thought they were going to run it. And he beats us again. Trayvon Morig making the crucial tackle. Let's go, baby. And they're driving. The Texans are moving. The Texans are moving, bro. We're watching Foster Moreau here. And how does Nate Hobbs not come away with that, bro? If that's a CPU, that's a pick every time. Somehow, Nate Hobbs does not get that interception. And that's crucial. That could have stopped them from even getting a field goal. Two-minute warning hit. If we can get a stop here and then maybe get some points for ourselves, that could be huge because we get the ball at the half. Returning from the half, we get the ball. Boom! Big hit by Trayvon Morig. He saw that one coming. Brian Pringle taking a big hit. I'm actually going to bait here with Trayvon Mori. 
Jonathan Abrams, they're not getting nowhere with it. Derek Carr trying to get the stadium hyped up here. If we can hold them to a field goal, it'll be huge. Man, we got to hold these guys to a field goal here. I'm switching this to man. I was switching that to man. Fossum Rowe getting a catch, though. Um, I don't like when they come out in a wide like that. If they come out in a five wide and you're in a cover three, you're low-key screwed. I don't know what zone I'm in. And Kareem Hunt pick this up, taking a big hit by Jalen Brown, but that's a first. Oh, that's a first down, man. That's big. Okay, man. At this point, it's damn near about just not giving up the touchdown, man. Trying to lay big hits. Okay, man. Texans have one more timeout, bro. If we can just hold them here. And, man, that's why I don't like 3-4 defenses because Max Crosby is nowhere near Chester Rogers. And just like that, right before the half, the Texans are probably going to tie this up. Raiders was locking down the Houston offense the whole game. And then, of course, we could have blocked that. But then, of course, they moved down the field. 12 plays. Man, that's crazy. I don't know, though. We still have three timeouts. We can come out here and get some points for ourselves if we play this smart. And God, I hate kickoff returns on Madden 23. I don't know if I should have called this play. I'm looking for Tyron Johnson, though. And big interception. It's like, bro, uh, Bradley McDougal, I just, I hate how the defense reacts on Madden. Like, Darren Waller definitely could have took better positioning for that ball. It's just all sorts of things that could have fixed that, and that's the problem with Madden. Like, bro, there's too many interceptions going off here off of straight bullshit. Like, I'm... I'm going to drop the interception rating. I'm, t I'm just tired of the defense. Every single fucking ball they touch is a fucking uh, uh, interception. Every single ball. It does not matter. Every single ball the defense touches will be an interception. And I just think that's a fucking joke. It is a fucking joke. Because our defense gets one right to the fucking face and they can't catch it. And Trayvon Mullins getting beat, and that's going to be a touchdown. That was a late hit on Davis Mills, and it doesn't even matter. They're going to decline that, and it's going to be a touchdown. And just like that, in the span of a couple of minutes, the Texans have taken a 14-7 lead. I don't know, man. Madden is ridiculous. Definitely have gonna gonna have to mess with the sliders because I am over the BS. D no way! No way! Darius Phillips right at the half gonna take the kick return back, and that's a huge momentum booster for the Raiders. Let's go jump up in the crowd. Darius Phillips taking this one all the way back. And that is going to be huge going forward in this game. Special teams coming out here and making a play as the time goes down to nothing. Derek Carr is hyped up, man. Got bailed out. Derek Carr getting bailed out, bro. Defense and special teams. And we're going to go into the second half tied. Oh, my goodness. It is destined for the Raiders to walk out of here with the dub. You cannot tell me otherwise after that one. Chargers are losing 7-0 in the first half. The Chargers can lose. That'll be a big, big hit. It'll be good for us. Game plan is defend the outside. And we're going to beat them by running up the ball, man. Running up the middle. We're going to chew clock. And establish the run game here in the second half. Here we go, though. 
Darius Phillips trying to take another one back, getting to the 26-yard line. And I think that's the move, actually, on the kickoff return. Look at Derek Carr, though, having a decent game if it's not for these three interceptions. Here we go, man. This is huge, bro. This drive is big for us, man. If we can come out here and put up another seven, I'd feel so much better. Here we go, though. Handing this off to Josh Jacobs, and he's getting a good gain for nine yards. That looks like a face mask, but it's not going to be called. We're going to keep handing this off. We're going to run it down their throats. And Jacobs staying on his feet, man, trying to take one to the house. Here we go, man. We're going to keep handing this shit off. Three times in a row, back to back, Jacobs is going to get the carry. And Gruger Hill doesn't get blocked. Force us to take that inside. If Gruger Hill doesn't come unblocked that fast, we take that one to the outside and probably get a way bigger run. But here we go, though, man. I'm liking this. It's looking like we have space. We're going to run it. And fuck, man. Nobody can hold a fucking block. I hate how the CPU just... They stretch their arms a thousand miles and grab your running back, but your CPU... Uh, linemen just get fucking pancake blocked have no chance at grabbing or reaching anyways though looking for Hunter Renfro here or Blake Jarwin and Hunter Renfro with the step on his man getting a good game Hunter Renfro on third down and five that's huge and he's dead and he's getting up slow probably got the air knocked out of him Rocky Asin getting up on the bleachers trying to get the the crowd up and hyped man I thought they're I don't know how that's not a late hit on Derek Carr. He didn't take him to the ground, but whatever. All right, we're going to run a screen here. We've had some crucial third down pickups in this game, man. Oh, my goodness. And that is almost intercepted. That was almost intercepted by Blacklock, I think his name is. And that gave me a heart attack. I was already feeling uneasy about running a screen. Here we go, though. We're just going to run this up the middle with Josh Jacobs. And not able to get anything. Actually going to lose two yards on the play. That is huge, bro. Now, I'm not sure what we do here. I'm looking for Devontae Adams, to be honest. Maybe Blake Jarwin. And Derek Carr. Can't throw an accurate ball, and we're going to have to take a field goal. 53-yard field goal. We didn't even give good power on this. But he makes it. And we go up by three points. Ah, Not what I wanted, but, man, I'm just happy to get three points out of it. The Raiders' defense has been playing decent. Has been playing really well, actually, when you think about the three turnovers by Derek Carr. But... And hopefully they can hold up here. Boom. Jalen Brown. What a man. That's a tank. Dropping him at the 18-yard line and eating up a block. Here is Davis Mills. Coming back out here. And I'm going to control Sue here. Fuck. I hate how you beat a block. Like, Madden rewards you by destroying you like how do i beat a block look at that how do i beat a block with nadamik and sue and get absolutely taken out of the play i beat the block with sue and take myself all the way out of the play like if that ain't some shit and of course denzel perryman laying a big hit on kareem hunt but he falls forward for the first down here we go man I'm going to cover Foster Moreau with Denzel Perryman here. Oh, and Denzel Perryman coming in for a late hit. No flag on the play. Rock is seen getting beat, though. That was tight coverage. All right, man. We're going to come out here in a nickel blitz. See what we can do. God, I hate the angles the defense be taking sometimes. It's fucking fake. And man, we cannot stop the run. They're already in field goal range. Man, big hit by Jonathan Abram, but no 
Fumble by Byron Pringle. Raiders got to tighten up. They're driving on us. They are definitely driving on us. And fucking Morig giving him up, man. I hate the fucking play by the defense, bro. Let's just take a look at this. Why is so fucking fake? Like, bro, let's think about this here. I mean, you're telling me there's nobody there. Trayvon Mori can see the routes here from a mile away. That this is going to be his man he's going to need to help with. But for some reason, the CPU doesn't drive like until it's too late. And I'm just so sick of it. I want I want the defense to play for real. Like, that's just so stupid, my guy. But whatever. You know, the CPU trying to screw us. But whatever. Here we go. Raiders coming back out here. Let's see what we can do on offense. It hasn't been productive at all. Just gonna let this bounce back. All right, man. We're gonna run this right up the middle with Josh Jacobs, bro. Let's just be more manlier than these people. We're not gonna get much on the play. Only three yards. I'm looking for Hunter Renfro or Tyron Johnson. Nope. Threw it to Darren Waller in tight coverage, but we know Bradley McDougal cannot hold our man Darren Waller, and he's going to snag that. Good possession catch. We don't have boosted outside blocking, but we're going to run it. Probably because we're stupid. Look at this. I could talk shit on Madden all day, but I'm not. I'm going to just stay in this real, this real mode. And we're just going to act like, you know, the Texans are God tier. Vonta Adams, just going to possession catch that. We just want to keep the chains moving. Don't want Madden to screw us. Going to run a halfback wham here. Keep the ball on the ground. Mm, Josh Jacobs running the man over. That's what I want to see. Drop the shoulders, baby. Tough running. 18 carries for 57 yards by Josh Jacobs. Mm, they're going to run this to Sky, so I'm going to fucking switch this to a slant. We're going to see what we can do here. And Devontae Adams taking it in. Let's go, baby. Pushing in with the man on his shoulders. And that's a good catch by Devontae. And good throw on the run by Derek Carr, man. Derek Carr on the run, man. Sails it right over Derek Stingley's head. And Devontae Adams does the rest. Carrying Bradley McDougal. And Derek Stingley into the end zone with him. Kicking this extra point will give us a three-point lead in the game. And that gives us the lead in the game again. So the Raiders once again taking the lead here. And we're kicking this off. And if defense can get a stop for us, we could be set, man. I feel like the offense is flowing. I don't know what these blocks are, but Kareem Hunt, 11 carries for 89 yards. We're going to have to keep our eye on Kareem Hunt, man. He's going off 8 yards per carry. We're going to be on the line with Neil Farrell Jr. And this is not good. What the hell was that? I don't know. But tackling Foster Moreau on the play. Foster Moreau, 4 receptions for 47 yards. Man, we can't let Foster Moreau run on us like this. Here we go, man. Top of the fourth quarter. And this is where men are made. This is where playoff teams are made. Fuck. Like, dude. Kareem Hunt not wanting to go down. Oh, my gosh. I'm not liking this play. We're going to bring pressure with Farrell. And God, bro, no way. Kareem Hunt just spinning us all out of our shoes. I think that was Chandler Jones and Trayvon Morig getting just lost in the sauce. No, it was Nate Hobbs and Trayvon Morig. All right, I'm getting to a point where I don't know what to do 
on defense right now. Just going to bring pressure. And I don't know how Farrell doesn't get the tackle, but... All right, man. They only got one yard on that play. We need to keep this going, defense. Going to bring pressure with Chandler Jones. And Brandon Cooks beating Trayvon Morick, but he's able to wrap him up. And it's third down and one. We're going to bring a blitz on third down and one. We need to get a stop. No way. Trayvon Mullins. Trayvon Mullins. This is a pick six. Davis Mills throws it to Brandon Cooks. And Trayvon Mullins in the fourth quarter is going to take one back for six, bro. Making up for that nine-yard catch he just allowed. Let's fucking go, man. Trayvon Mullins. Not playing around. That's what I want to see. I know he just got traded away to the Cardinals in real life, but bro, Trayvon Mullins is a stud when he's healthy. Let's not forget that. And the Raiders are up by 10. And that is crucial, man. Special teams and defense for the Raiders has been playing lights out. Crucial, crucial play. And now we just can't give up points too fast. We just have to play good defense. Okay, man, we're coming out here in a lot of soft coverage, um, man coverage now. Because I don't want to just give up a big play. Oh, gosh. Jonathan Abrams taking out the feet from under Kareem Hunt. Or no, that is, uh, who is that, Marlon Mack? Okay, maybe we shouldn't give too much space like that. But I don't know, man. I wish uh, Madden wasn't so dumb. Didn't give up too much space. But here we go. Let's go, man. Marlon Mack only getting four yards. And they're going to have to do more. They're going to have to do more. If they want to come back. Because we're going to run the clock out for ourselves as well. And that's another pick. Rocky Sin able to pick one. And going to get tackled by Bakreem Hunt. But, man, Davis Mills is choking this one away in the fourth quarter. You love to see it, man. Raiders defending the home turf. And let's go, man. I couldn't even tell if that was interception, but... Oh, that was a weird route. But I'll take it, man. CPU playing good for us, finally. Here comes Derek Carr. Man, almost well, pretty much in field goal range here already. This is huge, bro. We're just going to juice the clock. Josh Jacobs getting us a good six-yard gain. All right, man. We're going to chew the clock now. We got nothing to lose here. Up by 10. We don't need to score fast. Uh, running Derek Stingley over on the play. That's what I want to see. Let's introduce the rookie to the NFL, man. Here we go, man. Six minutes left. We're finally going to give Zeus a carry. Didn't get to utilize it much this game, but here we go nonetheless. And he's trying to fight, only able to... Oh, actually losing a yard on the play. I thought he gained one. Here we go, though. We're just going to keep handing the ball off to Zeus. Get him some carries. And at least try to take a field goal out of this. Look at Zeus getting five yards on the play. Here we go. Going to hand this off on third down and six. We're not worried about picking up. The first, just want to get some yards and, and take a field goal. And that's all we're going to do. Fourth down and two. No, I didn't really think about it. You know, it's really not even worth kicking a field goal. It'd still only be a two-possession game. So let's might as well go for it, right? But we are going to take the clock down. And look at that. The Chargers are tied with the Seahawks in the fourth quarter, man. Come on, Seahawks. Hopefully they can get that one. And we're not going to pick up the first down. We did not pick up the first down, but it really doesn't matter to us. They're getting the ball at the 14-yard line, and we're just going to come out here, play soft man coverage. Oh, I'm trying to strip Foster Moreau. I want to embarrass him. Even though he was a good player for the Raiders, I'm not going to lie. He was good. He's good. We just wanted a draft pick. We really just wanted a draft pick more than anything. That's the only reason why we traded Foster Moreau. But. Oh, and Mills is looking nervous. 
Stay out here, cover the middle of the zone. And Byron Pringle, I don't know. Boom, late hit by Trayvon Murray. They're not going to call it, though. I don't know why Denzel Perryman is trying to cover Byron Pringle, but that is not right. That is definitely not right. I do not think that's supposed to be happening. But here we go. Covering Foster Moreau. Big sack by Old Nicholas coming in and cracking Davis Mills for us. And that looked like holding on Max Crosby, but whatever. The Raiders defense is getting two mills this game, though. I'm not going to lie. Raiders defense has been all over Mills, and he's just been looking scared. Boom, and taking Foster Moreau's legs out, he's not going to get out of bounds. I didn't want to tackle him high there because of that reason. Let's take a look at this, though. Foster Moreau, though, having 73 yards on us. I don't know what that was, but that's kind of not the move. Foster Moreau has been giving it up, or uh, Foster Moreau has been doing his thing. That was my fault. I picked my own player on that play and gave up that game. But here we go. Covering Foster Moreau. Oh, and Trayvon Mowrigs just cannot jump up in the air and get that. But it's all good. I'm not even worried, man. I ain't even worried. Even if they get a touchdown here, they ain't going to... Well, they do have three timeouts, so we do have to be careful. I'm not going to lie. And the same play, back to back. Oh, man. He had possession. I think that's going to be a first down. Let's see here. And it is a first and goal. And now we have to come out here and play defense. Because we let them get down here. And they still have a chance at this. No bullshit. They have a chance. So defense gonna have to lock up here. Big sack by Max Crosby. Nadamik and Sue coming in for a big hit himself. We're gonna man up with Jonathan Abrams here. Oh, come on, man. Third down and goal. They're not gonna call any timeouts. They could just take a field goal here, though. It's kind of weird to me. Fourth down and goal. They're going to kick a field goal, right? Wow, they waste all that time. They waste all that time trying. The oh, shit. We're going to call a timeout. I forgot they were kicking the onside, though. So here we go. Had to call a timeout and get in the right formation. And Hunter Renfro picks it up. <laughs> he tries to return it. Gets hit sticked on the play. The Texans wasted so much time. By trying to go for a touchdown and then end up taking a field goal. That was stupid. Here's Josh Jacobs getting a good six-yard gain. And the Texans are going to call a timeout. Here we go, man. Everybody knows we're handing this ball off. We're almost in field goal range. So even if they stop us, I think we take a field goal here. And Josh Jacobs fighting for the first. They're using their second timeout. Third down and inches. Game on the line here. And everybody knew Josh Jacobs was getting it. And he bounces off a tackle and gets us the first down. And now the Las Vegas Raiders can kneel this game out. Two kneels and this game is over. And the Raiders will be two and four on the season. This was a must win game for the Raiders not gonna lie one and four I mean playoff hopes were slim we take a flag there that was retarded finished the game but look at that Casey losing to the 49ers okay Raiders win it let's go man it was a tough battle an absolute war all game pretty much and man it's just two bad teams when i really think about it because we're both one and four 
How is this a struggle for the Raiders? I don't know, man. Here we go, though. Derek Carr. He had, he had a pretty good game. If it's not for those turnovers, man. Okay, look at this. Davis Mills had three interceptions, man. 73% completion percentage and 282 yards. Not good, though. I mean, we, uh, maybe he got a lot of yards at the end. We were playing that soft coverage. But, hey, Derek Carr. 72% completion percentage, two touchdowns on three interceptions. You have to play way better than that, man. We have too much turnovers with Derek Carr that needs to be fixed. Here we go, though. Josh Jacobs, 24 attempts, 86 yards. Mans had a heavy workload for sure. That was a tough 86 yards, but, man, he did his thing. Zamir White, we only gave him three carries, nine yards. Didn't really get to see much for him. We gotta bring him out earlier next uh next game. Receiving Devontae Adams had a big game. 90 yards for us. Darren Waller had two good catches, crucial catches for 42 yards. Tyron Johnson had a couple crucial catches. Um Hunter Renfro, one catch. Devontae Adams and Derek Carr finally starting to see eye to eye, finally getting on the same page. 90 yards, love to see it. Still haven't gotten him a hundred yards on the season, I don't think, or a hundred yard game. But let's take a look at the defense. Denzel Perryman coming in at 11 tackles. Our two middle linebackers, the top two tacklers. You like to see it. Rock is seeing out here tackling like crazy. Let's see. Tackles for a loss. We had a bunch this game, man. The line was all over the Texans. Not gonna lie. The Dominican Sue had two tackles for a loss. John Brown with two. Crosby with two. Chandler had one. Nicholas had one. Rock had one. Perryman with one. Uh, boys was getting after it. The Dominican Sue with a one and a half sacks. Chandler Jones with a sack. Nicholas with a sack. Perryman with the sack. And Crosby with the sack. Five and a half sacks in the game. Davis Mills was under some stress for sure. Rock is sin though with that pick six. Denzel Perryman with the pick. Uh Trayvon Mullen actually, the one with the pick six. Uh Rock is sin just intercepted it. But 77 yard return that kind of sealed the game for us. Huge play by Trayvon Mullen. Um, no force fumbles. The defense played lights out. We got one upgrade for Josh Jacobs here. I'm gonna keep upgrading his power back. He's going to be our bowling ball. Advancing to the next week. See what the other teams did in the division. Now looking in the division, the Chargers actually lost that game. They were tied 13-13 to -13 in the last minute. We didn't get to see how it ended, but obviously it ended with the Chargers losing. The Chiefs also lost, and I think the Broncos lost. So that's actually huge. This was a huge week for the Raiders getting this win here. That was a huge win for the Raiders, man. Only down from the Chiefs by two games now. All right, let's take a look at the top performers going into week eight. Real quick, passing leaders, Tom Brady at 45 years old, still leading the league and doing his thing. Right behind him, though, Patrick Mahomes at 2,200 yards with 19 touchdowns. And Deshaun Watson, the Cleveland Brown, out here balling out after missing like two years or whatever it was. He's out here with 2,200 yards for himself and 15 touchdowns. Russian leaders, Austin Eckler, still leading the league. Christian McCaffrey doing his thing. And Saquon Barkley staying healthy. 10 touchdowns. Let's go. You love to see it for Saquon Barkley. Uh, receiving leaders, we got Tyler Boyd. Wow. That's interesting. But you'd like to see it. I mean, Tyler Boyd, he's been in the league for a while. I like to see him doing his thing. 10 touchdowns on the year already. Bro is going off. Chris Godwin behind him and Mike Evans behind him. Then you got the Bosa brothers, both one and two. Behind them, Melvin Ingram with eight sacks. Um, interceptions leaders, we got Ronald Darby up there with four, tied with Marshawn Lattimore. Um, I think Ronald Darby got blessed by us, honestly, is how he got up there. But Byron Murphy... Uh, I think he might have got blessed by us, too. To be honest, I think we're blessing all the interception leaders. But tackle leaders, Alexander Johnson, Patrick McQueen, and Drew Tranquil. 
those are the top three tacklers. But man, we got a trade offer for Darius Phillips. I don't know. We got to take a look at this. We'll see it for the next video. After him having that crazy kick return to basically, you know, give us momentum when it the ball, like just literally all the air left the ball, all the noise left the stadium, everything. I don't know, man. Darius Phillips, he might be our guy for the rest of the season, depending on how good this trade is. But anyways, if you guys like the video, like and subscribe, turn those notifications on. Um, sorry, I've been kind of inactive, inconsistent. I have been sick, and um, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to get used to this. I'm trying to be consistent, so thank y'all for sticking with me. I hope y'all have a blessed day, and peace out.